Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today I am super excited to share with you guys that I have teamed up with Tuesday Morning to bring you guys this video. I am so excited. I feel like partnerships are really good when you've already been using that item, if that makes sense. For instance, I'm shopping at Tuesday Morning once a week already. So this sponsorship was like, a match made in heaven peanut butter and jelly because I already shop there and I already love it there so as you guys know Tuesday morning does have a craft supplies like aisle it's for all levels of crafters from beginners to professionals and they have all different like styles too they have like shabby chic stuff clean and simple which is kind of my style um, they have like the mixed media grunge style stuff and stuff even for like quilters so they've got it all and if you're a crafter and you love savings and deals on quality craft items, then you guys go goo goo gaga over Tuesday morning just like I do. I will link their site down below and you guys can go check it out and see if there's a Tuesday morning in your area. You can also see the previews for the weekly ads on there and also like inspiration posts are on there as well. So let me show you what I got from there. Everything I bought was to make this project. So you're gonna see this. I got these gourmet gummy bears and they did have a few unicorns in there. And if you guys notice, um, Tuesday morning's pricing, it'll show like a um, general price for like a regular department store. For instance, it says $11 right here. And then it'll show Tuesday morning's price. So that's just to show you like the savings or the deal that you are getting. So these are normally 11 bucks. I got them for $7.99. Then I got these sentiment stickers right here. There is the SKU number 20555790. Then I picked up some of this, I don't know if it's basil, I got a couple of these, basil or basil, can somebody tell me? <laughs> um, it's like super textured paper, you guys, so it's not like regular cardstock. As you can see, like it's almost like a linen texture, so it's like that fancy, and this is expensive, like, um, at regular stores or even their own website. Uh, there's the product 2079500, normally $7.99, guys. That's a crazy good deal, $2.19. Um, then I picked up some of these Illustrated Faith. As you guys know, they have tons of different brands, designer brands. There's the code 2059314, $1.19. Then I picked up some of these Amy Tangerine stamp set. Um, I did use it for this love stamp right here. It came with pink, green, and black. There's the code 2052245. And they have like a, a large variety of stamps. Like it doesn't have to be from Amy Tangerine. Like they have like stamps galore, cling stamps, the clear stamps, even these wood block ones. This sticky tape, this sticky thumb, I really like this, you guys. I'm, I'm glad that I was able to pick up this. Uh, 2042026 two, is the code, normally four bucks. Got it for $1.99. Picked up these guys. These are like the styluses to score stuff. So they cut their different like uh, tips on them. And then this one's actually like a, um, a piercer for like die cutting and stuff, which I did use that. So came with those three, normally $15, you guys. So this was $6.99 by American Crafts. Then they have felt, because they have all sorts of like textures and stuff. This came with 10, and it's the really thick felt, you guys. Um, normal felt that you hold from like the craft store would go like this. It would like wilt down. So this is thick. I really like this, and I know I'm gonna use it. So, code on there is 1972177. Got it for $2.99 for this entire pack. The craft stores is a dollar for one sheet. Crazy. I picked up a couple of these to, you guys will see what I made. This is Love Story by Lori Whitlock. They have tons of paper kits, you guys. Like, um, it doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day. It could be just any, you know, theme and whatnot. They have it all, like, for babies, weddings, you name it. So, normally $15.00. 2055942. Got it for $5.99. Got a couple of these. Then I got this Crafter's Companion die set right here. It's got the little heart and lock key. 1927579. Normally eight bucks. Then they had some ribbon. I used two different ones for this project that I did. It's this spool right here. Normally two bucks. Then I picked up this thing. I almost bought this on Amazon. 
and I did not. I found it at Tuesday morning. Look at this. Normally 16 bucks. It's an envelope notcher, you guys. So you just take this piece off, put it on there, put your um, envelope, the corner of your envelope on there, put this on, and then punch it. As you can see right here, it'll punch little notches in your envelope. So I'm going to show you how I used that because I didn't use it on an envelope. I used it in another way. <laughs> oh, I have some of them. I already showed you guys those. Then I used several of these. These are the American Crafts Valentine's um, clothespins. Again, they have other clothespins. It doesn't have to be Valentine's Day. Um, next is this uh, Adtech Hot Temperature Glue Gun. It comes with the, I like that it had the high and the low setting. This tip is not as tiny as the mini glue gun, but this one is still a finer tip than like a regular size glue gun, if that makes sense. And it has normal, um, like you need to buy normal size glue sticks. The code for that, because I mangled the packaging, is 1952764, normally 15 bucks. Got it for $6.99. Then I got some of these My Mind's Eye tags. I already did use them um, for the project. So it came with these bigger ones and I just layered pieces on top of that. Normally six bucks, code is 2000620. And I got it for $1.49, $1.50. Like better than 99 cent store prices. Then I picked up a trim and scoreboard by We Are Memories Keeper. We Are Memory Keepers. I did have one of these and because it does fold in half here it is this is my new one um my three-year-old stepped on it while it was so it folds away which is perfect if you don't have like a big space but I had it out like this my old one and my three-year-old stepped on it like this and bent it like inwards and I just I couldn't use it anymore so I was excited I got to pick up another one of these boards because this is my go-to board it's a scoreboard and cutter in one and then it comes with a replacement blade at the top already for you so you guys this is my go-to place for tools so normally thirty dollars trim scoreboard two zero three zero and nine three three is the code and you can look up that code on the skew lookup hotline and see if they have it at a store near you got it for 14.99 and then I was excited that I got to pick up a new tool, which is this one right here. It's the We Are Memory Keepers Dial Trimmer. Came in this box. Normally $25. Bucks. Got it for $11.99. It's $196.5932. So what you do, you guys, you literally just stick. It looks like this when it first starts out and then you just pick your your design of your the edge of your paper this is like an edge paper cutter um look at that so that's got like a squiggly one more of like a scalloped a little bit or I guess this one would be more of a scalloped um it does perforated edges it does a scoring and like scores the tool instead and then like a regular cutter so you just put your paper in there and then you pull this piece out and cut it down gives it that either the scalloped on this side or more of a wave style on the other side so yes love this thing and it just pops right back up into the so that's a new tool okay so this is what I was making with all of the stuff that I got and these are for my daughters I still have more to make these are for my daughter's um, first grade class for Valentine's Day coming up and you guys I absolutely love that the way this turned out so so cute um, the idea from getting inspired here on YouTube she had a Valentine's Day treat idea and then she basically just had paper folded up I just added a flap part um, to mine to give it a little bit different look I guess so I used that trim that I got and then I used that crafters companion die set and I cut out that very thick felt and I just hot glued on the felt pieces because you don't want to use tape runner. You want to use something really strong. So I used hot glue for that. And then I just did the tag right here as the base. And then I got some of that Bazil paper cardstock and used my dial trimmer to give it like a fancy border edge, that scalloped edge. And then I got the sentiment stickers and just layered some of those illustrated faith enamel dots behind it or either on top of it because they did it did change up. So for instance, I put it on top of it right here. And then I got those American Crafts little um, 
clothespins and it's these aren't really like um like this will hang on there without it i was just kind of holding on some of the felt pieces with it right there super cute and then on the edge let me show you what these look like because i got so got a ton to go so this is what it looks like I used my you know my paper cutter and I cut it to size using the tutorial kind of and then I scored because I like using these score styluses versus the one the board comes with it's just my preference um, so I scored it a couple times there then I used the notch envelope notch maker right here I just did it on the very edge and you you'll do the top or the bottom depending on you know which like for instance this is the top so when I was punching it, I made sure that I could read the word top, and that's how you'll know how to use it. So I punched it right there, and then I punched it at the bottom. And you notice there's a little window right here. So my daughter, on the very back, using that Amy Tangerine stamp, we just cut a piece of cardstock, the Bazil cardstock, stamped love in the black ink, and then my daughter is going to sign, um, oops, she signed one of these. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, she's going to sign the back of all of these, so I didn't want to assemble them yet so that she can sign them. So I also, on the very edge, used that dial trimmer to give it that scalloped edge detail on the very end. Super cute, right? So I just used the sticky thumb uh, tape runner to line the very inside right here on the edges to do some of the trim on there and tie it in a bow so that it kind of just stays there without falling off once the kids do open it. And this is strong, this is a really strong tape, so I really like that. So then I just stuck some of those gourmet gummy bears. I got two, two packs of those. They have a lot of gourmet like food, candy, cookies, stuff like that. So I was like, okay, what do I want to stick in here? I'm full of those gummies in there. And then I used my sticky thumbs and, you know, taped the back of this to stick it on the inside of the package right here. And then once you fold it up, so you can see the little notches go in like moi. And then your candy will be showing on the inside, like just a little peep window right there. So that is what I made with all the goodies that I got to pick on behalf of Tuesday morning. So with all the stuff that I got, this is what I ended up making. And you know, I think it's totally me. It's clean and simple style, a unique little gift that you can even give these like teacher gifts. You don't have to make like the whole class stuff. You can use this in other themes. Like I said, they have tons of paper and selections for, you know, teacher's gifts or coworkers. You can think about Valentine's Day or Christmas. Um, teacher appreciation week all sorts of stuff even if you don't have kids like I said co-workers neighbors stuff like that you can make little goodies if you make homemade cookies and stuff you can stick a little bag of cookies in there so I really like this idea thank you guys for watching and I will catch you on the next crafty video bye guys